Hello guys, Airsick Hydra here and today's video is going to be talking to you about keeping players interested within ARPGs, keeping them enthralled and dangling that carrot on a stick to keep them entertained. But just before we crack on with the video, I want to give a massive thanks because we're getting close or the channel's getting close or I'm getting close to 500 subs and I'm, I'm really happy about this because I remember it wasn't that long ago I had something like 35 and I was looking forward to breaking that 100 view barrier for one video. Guys, thank you so much for anyone that's taken the time to watch, to listen, to subscribe, to like, to dislike the video. It's it's crazily, it's, it's all appreciated, so thank you so much. And for anyone that's new here, just before we get started in the video, just so you know what to expect from me, Guys, I will be keeping you up to date with informed content on Inquisitor Marta, giving you everything I know about the game, and believe you me, I try to make sure I know as much as I can. And as well as that, we will be doing feedback videos, as in me discussing to the devs, but letting you put your thoughts into that video as well. And as well as that, we will be talking about hot topics, and of course, I'll be giving my personal opinion on things as well. And that isn't to say that I'm right, I've always maintained in these videos thus far that you are free to disagree with me, but... Guys, if you're ever going to be vocal about it, do be prepared to have a debate with me and have a chat as to why you think I'm wrong and why you're right. Because that's why I'm here. I want to help stimulate people to think about the game, to talk about the game and to keep interested in playing the game when every now and again there's not that much content being released for a couple of weeks. So guys, remember if you ever get targeted by my comments, if I ever disagree with anything anyone says, I'm not attacking you or silencing you, I'm presenting my version of the argument, and if you still disagree with me, just tell me to fuck off. It's absolutely fine. Let's put this to one side and get cracking on with the video, okay? Let's get talking about ARPGs. Good morning guys, Ezek Hydra here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the magical moments within ARPGs that keep players interested and keep their focus on progressing through the game and keep them looking forward to what's coming next. The reason for me talking about this is because Inquisitor Marte has such a different weapon, character and progression system that I'm really curious what they're going to do to hold our interest. Let me explain to you first, in a nutshell, how a traditional ARPG holds your interest and captivates your interest or attention while playing the game. So the key objective really or the first thing you want to do in an ARPG is to level up your character. Now the reason you want to level up your character is that will let you get better skills and better gear. Those better skills and that better gear will then allow you to do more damage and that damage will allow you to then take on new places, new bosses, new challenges and that will allow you to level up your character quicker and the cycle perpetuates. So you're constantly looking forward to a bunch of milestones in terms of character level. You'll normally have one or two items that are slightly outside of your level and the moment you level up you can equip them. Or there might be a skill that you know that you get at level 15 and you, as soon as you get it you think yes my entire gameplay is going to change because I've now got Raging Fireball or something like that. And then, of course, when you do more damage and go to new places, you tend to kill, well, bigger enemies, scarier enemies and things of the sorts, bigger bosses and darker mobs, and eventually you'll go into a volcano or some sort of demon world. It's always something progressive within the game, and you always know that what you're doing next is going to somehow be better than what you're doing now. And finally, that leads us back to levelling up your dude again in this harder content and the cycle perpetuates. Yes, of course, end game we just end up focusing on getting gear. But for the vast majority of the levelling experience, it constantly entices you with a carrot on a stick slightly in front of your character saying if you could do a little bit more gameplay then you'll get this awesome stuff. Now let's compare this to Inquisitor Marte, which has gone for such a different system. So let's try and trace it through in the same order. Let's, let's start with levelling our character. So levelling our character in this gives you skill points, which just makes you do a little bit more damage. There is no real milestones. The most you'll ever get from a character level maybe is unlocking a perk, which you do three times. But aside from that, 
there really is nothing to look forward to. There's the occasional skill that will boost your damage by 20%, but doesn't unlock any gear either. So what I'm saying is leveling up your character in Inquisitor Marty is really a side effect of playing the game. It's not really a core ambition. You don't think to yourself, oh yes, I just hit level 15 with my character because that gives me... Oh wait, it doesn't actually give me anything. I've just got another skill point to spend. So that's something to consider. Moving on then, the main objective of Inquisitor actually is to grind gear, because gear is what allows you to progress in content. But oddly enough, gear doesn't really give you any bonus to damage, not from tier to tier. So yes, you might get a piece of gear that gives you slightly more damage, but when you progress to the next power level, the gear you get won't inherently do any more damage than it did previously. And this is a bit of an issue for me because it means I don't actually get excited when I get gear. I don't actually get excited when I pick up a piece of gear. I just think to myself, oh, okay, this puts me a little bit closer to the next power level. It's nice when you get your first few purples, and I admit that that's a fuzzy, fuzzy feeling. But that quickly dissipates after you've got a whole bag full of level 20s. Even if they're a lower power level, you still know that, well, their damage is actually the same as the new stuff you're getting. It's really only going up in a power level that makes you do, well, another 20% or 10% damage, however much it is. So there's none of these moments where, oh my god, I just got a two-handed great axe and now I do double damage. There's nothing that clear cut. But that is an advantage of the game that the damage is narrowly spread. It does help in certain respects, but what I'm saying is thus far I've not found any moments that really tickle me and really excite me when I'm playing. And then talking about going to new places, so we get our gear and we go to new places in the galaxy. So Victor's obviously talked to us and said the sense of exploration is going to be pretty goddamn paramount in this. It's going to be one of the main things that excites people. So there'll be a new story in the next area. And well, while that is something to excite people, it has to be a pretty damn good story if I'm grinding an entire set of gear to go to a next area to grind another set of gear. And this is kind of what concerns me. Is the next sector going to be awesome enough? And are the next 200 sectors going to be awesome enough? Because there's at least 200 power levels. Are they going to be good enough to entice me to want to grind 200 sets of gear? I'm slightly concerned about what's coming. Obviously, there may be bosses that appear every certain amount of levels, so there might be new challenges. And the end game content isn't here. We don't know what tiers are. We know there's a lot of stuff that's being implemented, but I'm just wanting to air a concern right now that at the moment when playing through the game, I'm not really seeing any light at the end of the tunnel because I can pick up a heavy bolter at level one and at power level four, I might have a better heavy bolter with more attack power, but the damage will be similar. I might have optimized my gear a little bit. So overall, I do about 30% more damage. I might have a few character levels too, which allow me to do even more damage, but again, only another 20%. And on top of that, I might finally have a perk which allows me to specialise my game style or my gameplay just a little bit. But were there any moments during that journey that actually excited me? Um, probably not. So that's what I'm posing the question to you guys, to the developers. Is the current gameplay exciting? Do you look forward to hitting the next power level so you can grind another set of gear? And what do you want to see as the power levels progress? Now, obviously, we know the sandbox feature is going to be strong within this game. Well, that's what they're aiming for, at least. So I guess it could be likened to something like GTA, where in Grand Theft Auto, you're running around a city. You don't have to think, well, I've got to say kill a certain amount of Yakuza and I finally get to get an Uzi. Normally everything's available to you straight away. This is just a feature of a sandbox. But guys, I hope this gives you something to think about. Again, you know me, I'm not slating the game. I'm just posing a question out in the air to see what is going to come to keep us excited. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the stream tomorrow. Remember 7pm CEST and let's try to get as many of us there as possible. Make these streams a heap more fun. Guys, have a great day.